What do you think? I think, like you said, it's a definitely a balanced arena, so um, could go either both way. Last game was uh, Ring of Valor. I thought I would favorize the MLS a little bit, but you know, you you also can't line of sight the DK on that on the the DK on that map because you can just get on you the whole time. Well, we'll see what happened here. I think it could really you know go both ways. Yeah, definitely, and uh, I think this is pretty much what we want to see in the final. It should go both ways uh, because if it will be obvious, no one will watch it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, game will start anytime soon, and I'm psyched to see if Showtime's uh, Showtime is Showtime can actually make it. I mean, they only need three maps, and then they actually won. Uh, whilst right. Dino uh, needs uh, to win a best of five, and then another one to actually be the finalist. Exactly. You see a Nova here, and another who's uh, rushing in, who just death gripped, uh, but hit fail apparently. He's starting up on uh, Rodriguez off the bat, trying to lock that mage down, so he can't get anything. Um, yeah, and he's still trying to get on that mage, just uh, using the uh, ice chains a lot. He's getting to very uh, well kited by Rodriguez at the moment, who drops a 50%, probably has to use AMS very soon. There it is, there's the AMS, 50% HP. Dakros and Afiro just got the spell. Rodriguez still taking uh, quite a bit of damage. Uh, we see some damage on actually on Fabio, who's top, uh, he's, uh, dropping at 50% at the moment. There's the uh, death call on Rodriguez, who uh, might have to block very soon, taking a lot of damage. 20% HP, we see the CS on Dakroth. And Fabio still uh, roaming around 50% HP, not getting picked up. There's the heal, 50k heal. Rodriguez blocks early this time, stop that damage. But that is an early block, so he definitely wants to look for, to like kind of get away and play a little bit defensive right now, so uh, to not get pressured right away. Um, although, um, uh, no, okay. Camera is fine. No, no worries. Not one of those problems. Uh, we see our nice ring there <laughs> by uh, who gets stuck in the ring. There's the AMS at around 40% HP. Uh, however, Clifton does not have a trinket, and uh, is uh, they are about the same mana. Fabio stuck in a in a ring of uh, a frost at the moment, and another just popped uh, Lichborn in a full deep freeze at the moment with UA up, dropping down really low. Still does not have AMS. There's the AMZ to stop the damage. Yeah, um, that worked out quite well for him. Uh, Rodriguez still. F um, Focusing here on another who takes a lot of damage now and dropping again uh, quite low gets healed up back from um, Glyptic right away but right, So still right now we see a, a CS on Glyptic. I don't know if that was full But Glyptic does not have a trinket and uh, another has zero cooldown That's why he's gonna try and go behind the pillar right now to stop the damage because he knows his shaman has zero cooldown And himself has zero cool no trinket no EMS no A and Z So if he there's a full deep freeze on another it might take a lot of damage soon there's the shatter from the mage. Um, AMS is back up. Probably going to use it soon. Yeah, there comes the shadow in. He's still trying to uh, ice and chain and death coiling. Get death coil off him. However, Juna is doing way better on mana this game compared to Glyptis with 20k mana. Well, Juna has uh, almost 50,000. Exactly. Uh, that but look is at getting another. He drops a 30k a bit of HP. Damage right there. Has to use AMS again. Look at Dakros, has no mana. Probably has to spear uh, tap, but he's pretty much out of mana. Has no life. He might drop here. He has the hellstone. Look at another 20k HP, has no cooldown. There's the Spirit Link from Glyptic. And that one came really, really in time. Dakroth is still in trouble. There's the there's the, uh, the deep on Glyptic who has to trinket it. Now they go and switch on to Rodriguez who takes now lots of damage. Uh, Ice Chains again up on him while uh, there is the uh, Death Coil onto Dakroth uh, who just got feared away in the Hex now. And Druden has the Rodriguez wants to uh, step away and uh, Dakroth again dropping low using the portal once again to get away from all the trouble. And they're turning back the pressure right now. And another who doesn't have AMS and AMZ and no trinket. Glyptic, however, has a trinket for NXTC, but another drops to 20k HP, has, has an AMS. Yeah, While Drew now just use Spirit Link to keep his team up. Uh, both Sham, both Sham and Ashley in a, in a same uh, same mana wise at the moment. Another is uh, nicely going pillar because he knows he has zero cooldowns at the moment. So he has to pillar until his at least his AMS is back up. It's exactly what he's doing. And the Howl of Terror just uh, pretty much got him rid of uh, Rodriguez and Darkroth at least for a few seconds. And he's still running around those pillars to uh, kind of get away there from all the whole damage. And uh, they're going back onto Rodriguez, who now just blinked away, getting the Ice Chains and the Death Grip right and away. And blinking be the away. probably soon by Rodriguez. And he has to block now, and, and there, there comes the block. However, Glyptin's doing way better on mana now. Was it around 55,000 on Druna's only at 10,000 mana? So that's going to be pretty hard. He was in AMZ because uh, another wants to stop damage early. And again, they go on to Darkroth, who is and dropping low again. And where's Drudenhaus? Looking for those heals for Drudenhaus. And uh, using Portal again, Drudenhaus so that saved really him once again. 
offensive AMS by uh, another to try and keep up in this target. There's a ring now of let's check out Rudenhaus. Rudenhaus to stop Rudenhaus the damage. doesn't seem to be able to get a drink anytime soon because really Rodriguez doesn't let him in game. Is death called at this very point of time? Dakroth is dropping lower and lower, and I don't know if there is so much to save him at that very point of time. And he gets focused, and there and he down dies. Goes wow. Like Rudenhaus still had a trinket, but was so low mana, no cooldown, and just couldn't keep Dakroth up. Yeah, that was an intense game, uh, game, game, <laughs> and my English is gone. I'm just blown away from all the action here. And uh, yeah, that makes the second time now for a short time. Wow, but that one is apparently a lot closer than it was before. And we take a look at the damage. Dakra's doing approximately the same as Fabio, but another doing so much more damage than Rorty is since he's obviously uh, on him the whole game. So that's, that's the strat, stop damage from the mage enough that he can't, you know, get enough CC that way, you know. Mm. He can't do enough damage. That's pretty much what they're trying to do. Do you think they're going to switch the tactic a little bit, maybe for the next game? I mean, they're apparently... I'm not sure if they really have to, because, like, they did good. It's not like they, they played bad. So, I don't know. What would you, as a pro, suggest here? <laughs> Give me your insight, please. <laughs> uh, well, I, I've talked both of these teams, like I said, and... Um, they, they said, MLS always said, you know, Shadow Cleave was their hardest matchup, so, you know, they, they're going to have to play extra good right here. The Dean Archer is going to have to play really good to, you know, get a win. However, they're, s I mean, Showtime is so confident right now. They haven't lost a single series during this whole tournament. They only have to win more game to finish the series, and then they win, they win, they win the finals. So I think they're really confident. However, um, Dean Trio, you know, they, they know it's hard, they know it's rough, and, uh, so, you know, I hope they're not too depressed and it's going to try and give their best to win. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that is the thing. I think we talked about that last, um, last, last, whatever I want to say, like yesterday, that was it. It has right. nothing to do with last, but whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, it is such a mind game, mostly because they actually have to win two best of fives. So now being 2-0 uh, behind is most likely not m making them feel that great. So uh, let's hope that they keep their uh, heads cool on uh, just being able to maybe get that game now would be more for us to see so obviously we want them right so obviously yeah they they, they managed to to win a, to win against victorian even though they lost the first time so you know i think they have the mentality to do it we'll see if they can do it again and we're gonna head into the potential last map here for showtime or will dino trio actually be able to take that one and go into another round And it's going to be Dallarino. 